Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley here, and today I'm going to show you how to stop and start music using C Sharp. So let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you import system.media and system, as we'll be needing these for this program. After that, if you're in Visual Studio, you can right click on your project, go to Open Folder in File Explorer, go to bin, go to debug, and this is going to be where your program runs when you're using Visual Studio by default. And we have put our WAV file in here because we want to reference the relative file path of our sound file, as opposed to putting in a long file path. You can put this wherever you want, just make sure you get the file path correct. Also, this only works for Windows and with WAV files. With all of those little disclaimers and setup things out of the way, let's get into how we can stop and start music using C Sharp. So, we are in our main method, we have currently got sound player, music player equals new sound player, and then we do music player dot location equals Cynthia dot wav. If you don't know what this means, click the eye up in the corner, and that'll teach you how to play music using C sharp. But basically, we're making our sound player object, and then we're telling our sound player where the sound file is to play. After that, we can do music player dot play looping, or we can do music player dot play. We can do either one for stopping and starting because when we stop sound, we're going to be stopping the sound player. It doesn't matter if it's looping or if it's just playing the sound once. We're going to do looping to make it easier to show. After that, we are going to do console.writeLine, enter to stop. And then we do console.readLine to read the user input. And after that, we do musicplayer.stop. And that's basically going to stop any sounds coming from our music player object. After that, we are then going to do console.writeLine, enter to play, and then we're going to do console.readLine, and then we do musicplayer.play looping, or you can do just dot play. Basically, we're going to replay the music after we hit the enter key again. And after that, we'll do console.writeLine, enter to exit, and then console.readLine. So, with all of that out of the way, before we explain how this works, I'm going to show it to you in action. So we're going to hit Control s and then hit Start. So, after we hit enter, the music stopped. And now we're being told to hit enter to play. So let's hit enter again. And the music's continued. So we're actually gonna let this just loop at least once to prove that it does work if you loop audio. As you can see, it works when we loop. And then we hit enter and then the program closes. So what's going on here? Well, basically, we created our sound object, then we told it to start playing. This bit of code is telling us to stop, gets the user input, and after we get the user input, it then stops. Because what happens is the program won't go beyond this line of code until you, it gets an input. And after it gets an input, we tell it to stop, we print some more text, and then we wait for user input. So it's not going to start playing music again until it gets that user input. Same again applies to here, but after it gets input here, it just closes the program. Obviously, you can put these play loop in, play and stop sounds at different points in your code. I'm just showing how you can go about doing so. And with that, out of the way, thanks for being the great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more C-Sharp tutorials. Thanks for being the great audience. I'll see you next time.